Oh look, it's Katie and her pajamas again because she forgot to upload, or not upload, she forgot to make a video for the day. Yeah, that happened. On the plus side, I got a new Nancy, oh, <laughs> hold on. Oops. I got a new Nancy Drew game today. Labyrinth of Lies. There we go, it should be good now. Um, it's the 31st one. My cousin, I don't know if I told you about it the other day, I don't think I did. Uh, but my cousin called me Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, yeah. My cousin called me Thursday when I was uh, at my nanny job, when I was at, my, when I was at work, um, and said that she was at Goodwill and saw this and asked if I had it and um, I didn't and it was only three dollars so she bought it for me so that was pretty awesome. I love Nancy Drew. If you guys haven't played it and you like kind of puzzle, I don't want to call it a puzzle game because it's not just where you go on and you do puzzles. I keep hearing, oh there it is. Stupid bug. I keep hearing I want to like, I want to kill it or something. Anyway. It's not just about going on there and doing puzzles. You um, go on there, there's a story in each thing, and uh, you have Nancy Drew, who is, if you haven't heard of Nancy Drew, it's like a book series where she, uh, it's a mystery book series that was for like teens or something. But anyway, you go on there and there's a story, you follow through the story and um, try to figure out who did whatever happened, who it was that did it. And uh, you find out why and there's usually, there's puzzles as you go along and it's it's fun. It doesn't seem at all like a, just a puzzle thing to me. So I think it's really good. Anyway, um, that was not really supposed to turn into a, uh, hey, play this, play this game thing, but that's what it was. So I'm rolling with it. <laughs> um, the, I had fun at my mom's today with the Pashas. We did get to play cards, so that was nice. Um, I feel like there's something else I was going to say to you guys. Brett's uh, desk looks clutter, more cluttered than ever. He's added medicine and a stocking and stuff over there, so that's nice that there's an orange thing over there that has medicine in it. That orange thing is my pumpkin candy dish that used to be downstairs. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's Monday. We have our doctor's appointment. Um, because we got a, neither of us have had a doctor for years in general. Like a family doctor. Uh, mine retired when I was in like high school or college and his, I don't know, he just didn't have one for whatever reason. So, we need to get a doctor. So, we have our first doctor's appointment tomorrow to establish our family doctor. Me and Brett being a family and our future kids. Um, that I'm not, I'm not pregnant or anything right now yet. Mm. Yet. Um, so, yeah, we have that tomorrow. So, I'm going to go to work. I don't have to be to work the next two days until 9 o'clock. So, that's nice. Um, and then I'm leaving tomorrow probably around 2.15 and I'll probably meet Brett there and then I want to go to the store because I want to get some a lot of fruit. I'm really wanting fruit and it's healthy so um, get some fruit and I feel like there's something else I wanted to get. I just am blinking now that I'm talking to you guys. Um, I was going to get some stuff for Brett for lunches but he's going to take uh, Chipotle stuff for lunch this week. For the most part, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, it's main, let's be the only thing after work that we have tomorrow. But I want to go to the store. I want to play my Nancy Drew game. I was going to work out tonight after we get back from youth group, which didn't end up being much of anything except for talking. Which I mean, that's what a lot of youth group is a lot anyway. But it was just the pastor and his son. And me and Brett, the pastor's wife, was there for a while, but then she had to go home to the, they have two girls and a boy, so they, she had to go home to the two girls 
Um, and then another girl that's in our youth group and her dad. And so me and Brett and the pastor and his son and the girl and her dad were sitting there talking. Uh, after we did like a little bit of talking with his with the pastor's wife there and stuff about different stuff, um, she had to leave and then we just kind of sat there for another hour or so talking about that bug is driving me crazy. You see it? I know it's not flying again. Anyway, um, we just sat there talking for another hour about different things and feel and thoughts on different things and I mainly listened but I talked a little bit. I talked a little bit. Um but yeah by the time we got here back here it was like eight something close to nine and uh I had to switch some laundry. I put the I folded all the all of my and Brett's clothes that I hadn't folded from before. Took his clothes out of the dryer and folded both thing, both loads of clothes, mine and his. I put the towels in the dryer, and then I came up here. That's when I forwarded all the stuff, and then um, was upload or uh, uh, putting the video on my computer and loading it into my uh, editor thing, and then I edited it and saved it, and now it's uploading. It's on ninety one percent. And uh, I need to, or I want to finish watching this video that I have on here. Oh, it's on no two. And I'm finishing watching it now. Because <laughs> I wanted to be to bed not after 11, and now it's 11 or 2, so it is after 11. Um, anyway, I did that. I took a shower. Um, so, yeah, and now I'm talking to you. But I'm gonna have to go to bed because it's after 11 and I still have to go down and, and do one more thing downstairs. But yeah, so then I'm going to bed. So, uh, it's a short video, I think. But I love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, grand, grand wonderful, amazing, pluffy day, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.